The lady at reception said that there are some sandy stretches and most of it is gravel and corrugated. So they recommend to bring the pressure down to 1.6. They play like cats. Oh, 
quite a beautiful animal. So elegant. It's been a while since I saw one of these. Probably since Masai Mara, I think. Here's the jackal following them. They're always trying to steal something. It looks like during the summertime temperatures can be very high. The landscape also has changed. It is no longer a narrow valley. Now it's like more open, it's wide. And uh, the dunes are far from the road. When you come to these parts, so dry like this, this is what you get when you go to a waterhole. Usually you get to see several species at the same time. There are many hemp box in this park. And it, it is clear why the the old name of the park was Hemp Park National Park. Here there are at least seven, some ten more there and probably like fifteen more behind the tree down the valley. At least there are twenty-five or thirty of them. They might be more because on the other side of the valley there are a few of them. Yeah, this is a huge group. This is one of the picnic sites where you can get out of your car, stretch your legs, Use the toilet. Ablutions here, these picnic spot are perfect. Excellent. Alright, so if we come back to Tuit Riviren on the same road, it's 114 kilometers from here. But I'm gonna take a loop that it's a little more, 119. If the next 50 kilometers are going to be like this, this is going to be fun. This road connects both main roads in Kajalajari National Park. From Nosop Road to Awop Road, approximately from Dikbad Skolk to Kamkwa. And this is a very different road. It is like a roller coaster and um, 
it's also a beautiful road because it, it goes through the dunes and you can see the red dunes all around the road and uh, the road gets some color from the dunes and it gets like a pale pink color all in all a uh, very beautiful contrast between the pink and the red and it's an interesting road if you want to go approximately from halfway Nasab Road to halfway Awab Road without going back to Twitwifirin. In terms of animals, um, lots of hemsbok here and lots of ostriches. And this is the road that goes back to Twitwifirin and the landscape has changed again and again uh, tones of Hengsburg here another big group of blue wildebeest And as usual, when it's time to go back to camp, the best sightings occur. Look at that beauty. On top of the dune. And those are cubs. There are four of them. This is the female. There is a male. Also on top of the dune. And then two cubs here. So lazy. It's too hard still for them to come down. But it's getting late. These guys always show up at the last minute. And there's another cub. So there are five. And those two cheetahs are the same that I saw this morning. <laughs> <laughs> 